Well, hello, Move Easy Movers. Welcome to Move Easy Yoga with Kathy. Today is Saturday, June 10th, 2023, or whatever day you're watching the YouTube video. We're going to start in our usual manner with legs up on a chair, static rests for seven minutes. So just to review, your legs are up on the chair, your hips are maybe a few inches away, so your hips are in neutral position. You'll have that natural curve back there. Your arms are wherever they're most comfortable. You want to breathe normally. Bring yourself, your awareness into your yoga space. And just one second here and I will set the timer. For seven minutes. Here we go. I may not have mentioned it. Today's class is going to be mid back and up, neck, shoulders, arms, thoracic back. No props needed except for whatever you might need when you're sidelined.
Okay, seven minutes are up. Stay where you are. If you choose, you can curl your tongue under the roof of your mouth and slowly move your head from right to left about six times. Remember to move slowly and we're just looking right and left. Okay, and next we're going to do vagus nerve reset. We're all familiar with this. So you're looking straight ahead. All you're going to move is your eyeballs. So we start by moving just our eyes to the right. Head is forward. And, oh, excuse me, it comes right away with me. Wait for that sigh, swallow, yawn, or gulp. And then come back to center. And the same thing on your left, just your eyes to the left. Wait for that size, swallow, yawn, or gulp. Now I'd like you to do this two more times on each side without my cueing. I'll give you a couple of minutes. <clears throat> so finish up the next thing we're doing is head ramping now you can leave your head on whatever support you have pile of washcloths, pillow, whatever or you can put a set of therapy balls or a sponge ball or something else back there and we're all familiar with this too what we're doing is we're pressing the occipital ridge, that bony part between your ears that runs along your scalp line, away from your body. You can do this sitting up. You can do it lying down. Um, you can actually do it standing. Um, all we're doing is we're trying to reverse text net. We're always looking down at our devices. So we want to reverse that. So we press the occipital ridge away and hold it. Now the chin follows, but you're actually pressing the back part of your neck. And then release. We'll do this three more times. So press, hold, and release. Press, hold, 
and release. Last one. Press. Hold. And release. Okay, you can actually do this anywhere, anytime. Standing in line at the grocery store. Driving in your car if you're sitting at a light. The breathing exercise we're doing today is extended exhale breathing. So it's very simple. You take a normal breath and you count your breath. For example, inhale, two, three, four. And then the exhale, you want to be longer, as long as possible. The goal is to make it at least twice as long, if not longer. So when you exhale, if you've inhaled to four, you want to try to exhale to the count of eight. Now, I've found that if I put my lips in a circle like I'm blowing out birthday candles, I can extend my exhale longer. It's a very individual thing, but we'll do a couple together. So inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Inhale through your nose. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hey, that reminds me, just a quick little story here. I was watching a show the other day, and it was a game show, and one of the contestants said they did laughing yoga. And the guy said, what is that? And she said, it's a type of breathing exercise where you laugh, and you take a breath, inhale, and then when you exhale, you're laughing, like inhale, and then ha, 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 as you exhale. I had never heard of that. I need to ask me about that. That, that was completely new. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to do the vacuum next. Now you can leave your legs up on the chair if you choose, or you can move away from the chair or the couch or move the chair away. I personally like to extend my legs. But that's just a personal preference. So the idea behind the vacuum is we're trying to strengthen our pelvic floor. So we take a normal inhale through our nose and then exhale everything out of our lungs. And while we're doing that, we want to, we have a natural curve to our back, but we want to press our belly button down towards the floor. So flatten your back as much as possible and then hold it for the count of 10 and then release. So we're trying to strengthen our pelvic floor. So normal inhale and then exhale everything out of your lungs and hold the air out. Press down with your belly button. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and inhale and let yourself come back to normal breathing. It'll take a minute. We'll do this two more times. So a normal inhale. And then exhale everything out of your lungs. Press that belly button to the floor and hold it there. Hold the air out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead, inhale. Give yourself a couple of breaths to get it back to normal. One last time. Inhale. Exhale everything out. Suck in that belly button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Whew. All right. Come up to a sitting position. We're going to do our regular stretching warm ups. Just notice my voice is sounding a little hoarse. I caught a cold, a little summer cold. So we're going to start with the um, side bend with lat stretch. So this is a 40 second hold to get my timer set up. So hand along the mat, other arm up and over. Feel that stretch. Go ahead and lower your arm until it's parallel to the floor. Feel that stretch in a different part. I feel it down my side, but also my underarm down my back. Latissimus dorsi. Arm up, torso up, other side. Hand along the mat, other arm up and over. Now lower that arm to get that left stretch going. All right, arm up, torso up. Good job. Go ahead and switch our legs just because. Now we're gonna do our thoracic back rotation. This is another uh, 40 second hold. So left hand on right knee, your right arms behind you, fingertips, spider fingers. Rotate, look to the right. You wanna keep your shoulders back and your back as straight as possible. And of course, remember your options with your head. You can go back and forth. Or you can, with the rib cage, go back and forth. Whatever works for you, or just enjoy the feeling. Be aware of where your feeling is. Okay, come on around. Other side. Right hand on left knee, left arms behind you, spider fingers. Rotate your shoulders. Remember your options. I can always rotate further on my left than my right for some reason, just the way we're built. We're asymmetrical. Make sure your shoulders are back, your back is straight. There we go. All right. 
Now we're going to do the straight back hip hinge. So, um, Harvin, I know you have issues with this. You can try this sitting in a chair if you choose, or you can try sitting on a brick or maybe even a low, a low stool if it helps. So what we're gonna do is we're keeping our back straight and our shoulders back. We're gonna go down to our right knee and then across and then up and then down to the left knee and across and then up. And if you'll notice, I'm not going down all the way because I that would make me, make me slouch. Keep your back flat and just go down as far as you can with your back flat, shoulders back, and you're looking straight down at the floor. And then across, and then up, and then back the other way, shoulders back. If it helps, you can put your hands behind you, and across, and up, and then down. Cross and up. And if you do have trouble with this, you can always just do rotations. Rotations are good too. What we're doing is basically we're just kind of loosening up our hips a little, keeping our back straight. Okay, so let's switch our legs again to the smell of it. Okay, we're going to do some neck stuff. So <clears throat> we're going to start with, I don't know this. Um, shoulders back, back straight, head down, ear to your shoulder. Try not to lean, try to stay upright and just ear to shoulder. We're gonna move our head in just a minute. Okay, now move your head so your nose is pointed towards the floor. Again, you're still straight up and down. You're not shrugging, your shoulders are relaxed, but your head has just moved. Should feel a different feeling in your back. I feel it a little deeper on the left side. All right, now nose up, head up. Same thing on the other side. Oops. So ear to shoulder and try to be conscious about leaning. <laughs> I tend to lean ear to shoulder. I feel it right on the right side of my neck. Just be aware of where you're feeling this. Now turn your nose so it's facing the floor. You're looking down at the floor. You're still upright, shoulders are still back. Should feel a different stretch. Good. Nose up, head up. Okay. Um, I can't figure out what my note says. It says shoulder rub, and I'm not sure what that means. So let's, let's, uh, we're going to punt here. Let's put our hands on our shoulders and just go in circles with our elbows. like little wings. Now, if you're like me and you probably can't hear this, I can hear all kinds of noises going on in my upper shoulders and my neck. And let's go the other direction. This is very good for loosening up your shoulders. Drawing circles with your elbows. Good. 
Here we go. I need to make a note. So just bear with me for a second. Okay, now we're going to do shoulder shrugs. So basically, they're just punching your shoulders up, just straight up, and then down. Straight up, hold, straight up, your neck disappears, and then down. And three more, straight up with the shoulders, hold it, and then down. Shoulders and then down. With the shoulders. You want to hunch back <laughs> down. Okay. All right. So we're going to move to the wall and do our back bends at the wall that we normally do. So bear with me, I have to do some quick production work here. Since I don't have an assistant. Okay, so we have our back to the wall. We're going to do a 40 second hold on the back bend. So arms up and palms on the wall. You want to keep it, your elbows as close to your head as you can. If your shoulders are tight, they're going to be out and that's okay. But just try to keep your palms on the wall. also a chest extension. Your hips should be back, but your chest a little bit arched. We're holding this for 40 seconds. And come on down. Okay, now spine twist at the wall. So we're going to start on our right side. Right foot forward, left foot back, elbows at your waist, palms up, rotate and put your palms on the wall. Simple as that. We're going to hold this for 40 seconds. Or a little less actually. This is another bone builder. Okay. Come on out of that. We'll do the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back. Elbows at your side, palms up. Turn towards the wall, palms on the wall. This is a very good twist for the mid to upper back. Also the waist. All right, there we go. Now our third movement in this triplet, we're going to do standing up. We could do this side lying, but since we're standing, we're going to do arm circles. So 
basically, it's just very simple. The right arm for 40 seconds and both ways, and then the left arm for 40 seconds. So again, we're moving slowly. And all we're doing is moving the arm. We're not leaning into it. This is something that is actually excellent for the shoulder. Okay, we're going to go the other direction now. We want to keep the rest of our body as still as possible. Okay, that's it for the right arm. Let's do the left arm. Here we go. Again, we're trying not to move any other part of our body, just the shoulder and the arm. Okay, now other direction. This is something you could do anytime, anywhere, although it's a little bit more obvious than standing on your toes or pushing the back of your neck back. If you're standing in a grocery store line doing this, people might look at you. <laughs> Maybe when you're home watching TV is a good time. There we go. Good job. Okay, back to the mat. I need to plug in. Bear with me. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go to tabletop. Now, there are some options here. If you have trouble with uh, your wrists on tabletop, remember you can fold your mat over to make it easier on your wrists. You can actually uh, come down on your elbows if you're not comfortable on your arms, although what we're doing might be a little bit harder. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is called scapula push-ups. So our hands are shoulder width apart, fingers are apart. We want a good strong base. And we're just gonna come down, keeping our shoulders where they are, and then come back up. It's very similar to when we Protract and retract with our scapula, only we're doing this in just a different position. So you go down and up. You're actually moving your scapula. When you go down, you can feel them kind of nestling towards each other. And then when you move up, they move apart. So down 
and up and down and up one more down and up okay now the next thing we're doing is sort of a breathing exercise but it's also good for the mid mid torso area cat cow so with cat cow this is the cat when your back is rounded and this is the cow when you're pressing your belly button to the floor so when you're in the cow you want to exhale when you're in the cat you want to inhale so inhale exhale inhale your elbows can be slightly bent exhale and also do this on your elbows inhale no this exhale inhale exhale inhale so exhale your back is rounded your belly button is pressing towards the floor inhale your hips have tilted forward. Your back is like a cat. One more. Exhale. That's a very good one. Now this next one is actually for the lower back. We're going to stretch the lower back. Ancient prayer position. So your knees are apart, at least mine are. And you just walk your hands out as far as you can. You want to push your hips back. This is what puts the stretch in your lower back. Push your hips back, push your hands forward. You may not be able to come down this far and just come down as far as you can. If you're just this far, that's good too. Just push those hips back. Come down as far as you can. And you should feel that stretch in the lower back. Okay. Go ahead and roll over into <clears throat> supine position. Take your time. We're going to do some arm stuff. Arm stuff. There's a technical term. Okay. The first thing we're doing is your arms are out in the T. The shoulders are relaxed. I gotta sit right myself. Your knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. This will give you more support. Arms out in the T, then both of them come up, palms together, and then arms back down, and then up, palms together, and then arms back down. Now, some people might do this with weights. I believe weights are too much on this position. You can if you want. I would start with light weights. And arms up palms together, and then back down. Actually, I believe this movement, if done regularly, is just fine. It does what it needs to do. One more time. Arms up, palms together, palms down. As long as you're moving slowly and deliberately, the movements are very effective. Okay, the next movement is your palms are up and then they go back and above your head and down. Palms are up and then down. Now, if you can't touch the floor behind you, that's okay. You can have a brick or something up there to support or you may only be able to come back this far and that's fine too. Just go as far as you can. 
and then up fingertips towards the ceiling and then back and up and back. one more time and up and back all right again something some people do with weights but if you're moving slowly and deliberately, you don't really need them. And the third in this triplet is your arms are at your, oh yeah, your arms are at your hips, palms down. And we're just going both with both arms up. Palms up and then palms down. Again, we're just moving. This is really good shoulder work. Again, if you can't come all the way down, that's okay. Have a blanket or something sport behind you. And then down. And one more after this. This is the last one. Up. And then down. Okay, good job. Pardon me, I need to adjust just a couple of things. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple of sideline moves. So whatever you use under your head or sideline, rolled up blanket, a bigger pile of washcloths. You want something firm. You want to be able to have your head supported, but not, but not tilted. So as I mentioned before, we've done that scapular protraction contraction. So what we're doing now, so our position, ankles, knees, hips, stacked, shoulders stacked, head supported. Arm is parallel to the ground. So protraction is extending from the shoulder and then retracting is pulling back. Protraction, retraction, forward, back, forward, back, one more, forward, back, okay. Put your hand on your hip just for a brief rest. Next, we're going to do sunrise, sunset, where arm is in the same position it was before, only you're not extended, it's just where it is, and then up, and back down, and up. These movements don't seem like much. But when you do them regularly, they do make a big difference. Next to last one. Good job. Good job. The next one we're doing is the shoulder rotation. So your arm is up in the sunrise. You may use your other hand to feel where the rotation is. The rotation is at the shoulder. Might want to make a soft fist. I do because otherwise I'm, I'm just twisting my wrist. So we want to rotate from the shoulder. So rotate away. And then inward. 
so outward. Protraction. Retraction. Okay. Good job. Rest in just a second. Next thing we're doing is, if you've noticed, this is the upper part of the sideline series. We're doing the half technical snow, snow angel, which is a fancy name. We'll put it down just a little bit here. So your hand is at your side. You want to turn your palm towards the ceiling. Then you come up and over. Now your palm is towards the floor. Face your palm forward and come back. That's the movement. Palm towards the ceiling, up and over, palm forward, up and back. more as we still have to do the other side. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do flying pizza. So your elbows at your waist and your palm, your lower half of your arm is parallel to the floor with your palm flat. And then you come up and face your palm towards your upper body, and then down, and up. This is for your rotator cuff, and down, up. Okay, one more time. Good job. The last thing we're doing here is a very simple movement. Your arm is at your hip, but straight, not, not resting. And then just raise it up. Palm forward. Back to your hip. Raise it up. We're working all parts of our shoulder here. One more. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip over to the other side. time, so we're going to have to make this quick. <laughs> hey, I always wonder if I have enough or do I have too much or it's always fun trying to plan these things. Okay, so scapula, protraction, retraction. So back and forth. Your arm is just parallel to the floor. Just your scapula is moving, taking everything else with it. And then rest for just a second. And now let's do sunrise, sunset. So up and down. Up. And I think you can hear my birds in the background. Michael just got up. 
Okay, back to your hip. Now there's shoulder rotation. Your arm is up, straight up towards the ceiling, loose fist. I like to put my other hand right on the shoulder joint. And we're gonna go external and internal. Okay, rotate that. Try to keep your arms straight or as straight as possible. The movement is in the shoulder, not in the wrist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a quick break. Now we'll do our snow angels. So hand at your hip, palm facing the ceiling. Arm comes up and over. Palm faces forward. Arm comes back. Palm faces ceiling. Up and over. Palm faces front. Okay, good job. All right, now flying pizza, elbows at your wrist, lower arm parallel to the floor, palm facing the floor, and then up we go, and then down. Your elbow is bent and at your waist, and up we go. And down, and up, and down, one more, and down, okay. Now, last movement is your hand is just at your hip, we're just going to raise it, very simple move, and then back down. Raise it up, back down. One more. Raise it up, and back down. Okay, that's enough of that. Go ahead and get ready for Yoga Nidra. Make sure you're in a comfortable position. Make sure you are either warm enough or cool enough, as the case may be. You might want to cover your eyes. I'm going to lead you through a 61-point guided meditation. Works deeply on your nervous system. Allow your awareness to flow to these points without moving any part of your body. Begin with your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Observe your abdomen as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. Now bring your awareness to the center of your eyebrows, the center of your throat, right shoulder, elbow, wrist, right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> fifth finger, <clears throat> right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, left thumb, second finger, third finger, 
fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, heart center, center of your throat, center of your eyebrow. This concludes the 61 point guided meditation. Begin to wiggle and stretch. Stretch your legs out at their bent. Stretch your arms overhead. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. First one way, then the other. Now hold your right knee to your chest. And squeeze it. Say thank you, knee. Straighten that leg out. Hold your left knee to your chest. Give it a squeeze. Thank you, knee. Straighten that leg out. Now both knees to your chest and slowly rock back and forth, feeling that massage on your back. When you're ready, roll towards the camera using your lower arm as a pillow. We're going to take 30 seconds out here for our gratitude minute. Let's be grateful. Grateful for today. Grateful that you can move. I'm grateful that you could move with me today. I'll tell you, even though I have this cold, I feel better than when we started. My voice probably doesn't reflect it, but I do. I'm grateful for you. When you're ready, Come on up to a sitting position. I'm going to remove my spotlight. You might want to unmute yourself. Put yourself on gallery so we can see everyone. Hands at your heart. Let's push just a little bit. Feel some shoulder work. I feel the shoulder work we did. I don't know about you. And then loosen that. And I just want to say thank you for coming and moving with me today. And I hope the rest of your day is very good. Let's end the class by saying to each other, Namaste. 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 Thank you, Kathy. Thank, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Loosened up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>